All right, hello YouTubers. Uh, this is a video on how to get rid of the Security Shield virus. Uh, I've been banging my head against the wall for almost two hours with my wife's computer after she started getting all the pop-ups and looking at websites and other YouTube videos. Uh, nothing was was working for us. We we got hit pretty bad with it. It was. It was doing quite a number on our, our computer, or my wife's computer. Uh, it was locking everything up. I couldn't open any type of internet browser or control panel or task manager, anything. It, it had us completely locked out, and I was getting really frustrated because everything that people were saying to do, I, I couldn't do. It was locking me out of everything. So if you're at that stage, uh, this will be a good video for you to watch. Hopefully I can help you out. Uh, quick note, this is a, a older Dell computer running uh, XP and really slow to begin with. So it, uh, that's probably why we got hit so bad with it. Um, but yeah, part of this, this uh, tutorial, I guess, uh, the credit would go to uh, YouTuber... 10 Resident Evil, uh, the number 10 and then Resident Evil, watched his video and, and some of what he said helped me out a lot as far as containing and then getting rid of the, the file. Um, however, I had to devise my own way to locate the file as I, I couldn't use any other means. And uh, the folders that people were saying to look under were not present in uh, in our version of XP. So what I did, uh, well first what you want to do is um, if you can open up any window, uh, my computer or whatever, and you want to go to tools and you go to folder options in this window you're going to go to view and then right here you want to if it's not already selected you want to click on this show hidden files and folders. Uh, that'll allow you to locate the file and help you when searching for it. Uh, once that's selected you hit apply and OK. Uh, then what you want to do is start menu and go to search and that will give you this window right here. Um, you're going to search for all files and folders and you want to click on this tab for advanced options and you want to have checked search hidden files and folders and their subfolders. Um, it'll just help to speed up the search process and only look in the necessary areas. Once you have that selected, uh, go back up here and at the top field, all or part of the file name, you're going to click on that and you're going to enter .exe. You're just going to search for all executable files and once you do that you allow the list to populate and this is my list that was populated and you want to be looking for a file that was created fairly recently if not um, today uh, this it's currently well now it's February 19th uh, this happened on the 18th um, whoop. Let me drag this over so yeah what you what you want to look for and I've heard um there's a few different variations of what it can be but you're looking for a file that could have uh, any number of icons next to it. It could be a recycling bin I've heard. It could be a generic blank icon. Uh, it could be the, the security shield logo that you would you would see in the, the bottom of your taskbar down here. As you can see mine is no longer there because I'm in the process of getting rid of it. I've uh, manually stopped it temporarily. Um, However, I still need to get rid of the file. So you're looking for a file that has some icon like that. My icon was actually different. 
than anything I've heard. And I'll show you it in a second, but you're looking for a file that has just random numbers, or I've heard it could be random letters. Uh, mine was a series of letters as probably 9 to 12 random letters and then just dot exe and the file you have to when you locate it you have to rename it so I'm at the renaming process this is my icon right here I don't know how to explain it to you it looks like a little green circle with a pair of yellow or golden scissors in it um, but this was labeled just a bunch of random numbers and I renamed it damnu.exe and uh, once you rename it you want to go back into your start and you want to restart the computer and uh, what that'll do is that will I don't know if it will indefinitely um, quarantine the file uh, it will temporarily quarantine the file as far as I know um, what it does in effect is it will allow the program to you know not locate this file anymore which is what causes all your pop-ups and everything uh, as you can see through the video here I have not had any single pop-ups and as I said before on the bottom of the taskbar those icons are gone from the security shield uh, so once you rename it uh, it will stop those um, not sure indefinitely but definitely temporarily and once you rename it you are now able to delete it uh, if you do not rename it you will not be able to delete it or so I hear hopefully we will find out right now as I click delete it says are you sure I am definitely sure I do not want this on my computer and there it goes deleting so that is that um, hopefully all is well I have not seen any problems since I have renamed it and now that it's gone I hope to never have any problems again hopefully my wife has learned her lesson and she will no longer be carelessly cruising the internet alright so let me know if that helped you out comment on it if you have any questions oh one other thing um, I don't know if this will this will matter or not but another thing you might want to do uh, before you start this process when you enable the view of hidden files um, you may also want to there if you scroll down the list just a tad there is you want to have these three boxes unchecked as well um, temporarily once this whole process is done you're gonna wanna you know so you don't screw anything up that you you need you know you maybe wanna hide the hidden files again um, this this box right here have that unchecked as well because what that'll do is it will allow you to see the the extension um, example the the dot exe at the end of the file name I'm not sure if that would make a difference however I did have this box unchecked um, while I did this so that it can properly locate the dot uh, exe files and you can be sure that you have the right one uh, so yeah once that's done you know you can recheck these definitely recheck this middle one uh, as you can see Windows recommends that you have this checked so that you you don't screw with any of the operating system files and that is it uh, like I said I hope this helps if not uh, leave me a comment or message me and I will do my best to help you out and hopefully you will not have to bang your head against the wall for two hours like I did alright thanks for watching